What's up everybody? This is Robbie and you are watching Geek Level Asian and today we are going to make a Master Morpher from the 25th anniversary episode of Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel and we're going to use the Red Ranger Legacy Power Morpher because this is the type of morpher that was used in that episode because it has the gray silver-ish back and I'll, and I'll show you what that looks like. So what we're going to use today are the plates that I purchased from Starlight Studios and these are beautiful. I'm going to be using these and I already applied the BD-15 labels, the Master Morpher BD-15 labels. I don't know exactly what to call this, some people call it the green lens, but this is what's going to go inside of the two plates uh, again because that's what the Master Morpher looks like. So that's pretty much it. All you really need is a screwdriver, which I have here. So let's get started. Let's open this guy up and uh, start taking it apart. So we're just going to flip this up here. I'm just going to open up the tape. Let's bring this guy out. What's really cool is that this whole thing is red. I, this is the first movie morpher that I've ever purchased. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up this part. I think there's tape here. Great. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> it's so funny because this does look very beautiful and I almost feel bad taking it apart, but we're gonna take it apart anyway. So I'm gonna just pull the morpher out. So we have the morpher and like I mentioned earlier, the backing is gray. It is not gold like the original release Legacy Morpher. So now that being said, this is how you take this thing apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the handle and you'll see two screws here, one here, one here, and then the other screws you'll see when you open the morpher. And there's one here, and there's one there. It's a little dark. I'm sorry if the camera's not picking it up. I'll kind of make it go that way. There you go. So you got a screw here. Let me, um, yeah. Screw here, screw there. Okay, so I'm just gonna unscrew these. There you go, that's one plate, very simple. And now to do the bottom ones, you might find, depending on what screwdriver you use, that it might not fit. Uh, mine does, but make sure you just have the, the right size. You might even wanna grab, uh, I have like these types of screwdrivers, you might wanna grab these, these might even be more helpful. Bam. Second plate is officially off. So now this is what the morpher looks like from the front and we only have four more screws to take out. This one, this one, and then the ones that hold in the clips in order to hold the power coin. So I'm just gonna remove these two screws. Okay, so I took those two screws out that hold the red lens in. And that's a lot scarier than it needs to be, but we're just going to remove these two screws and then take these two black clips and throw them in our green lens. Okay, so the screws are removed. I'm just gonna take the clips out. They just come out. You might have to kind of wiggle them a little bit. There you go, great. The clips look like this. It's not too complicated, the screw goes in here, and then this is the piece that actually goes through the lens, if I just flip this with, and that's what actually holds the power coin in, so these are important. So now, for the fun part, we're going to assemble our Master Morpher. So I gotta turn this around, and we're gonna throw the clips uh, where they should go, which is right here. You'll see this little ring here, a little screw hole ring right there. Okay, so to apply the clips, very simple. I'm just going to place it where it looks like it goes. It is pretty self-explanatory, so I just gotta now throw the screws back in here. So something that I did notice about this right away is that the green lens, whenever it was molded and manufactured, that the screw holes, it's a tight fit, so you just gotta apply some pressure. They will go in, though. And I would hand tighten all of these screws. I would not use an impact drill or anything mechanical. You don't want to break it. Uh, but it is important that these clips are tight, because if they're not, then your power coin will just fall right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it with a coin to see if it clips in, and it does. Perfect. Place the lens back on the morpher where it goes, and reapply the two silver screws. One goes here, and one goes here. Again, just hand tightening, that's all that I'm doing. And I just wanna make sure that after I've applied this and I put this on, that it opens correctly. 
Perfect. So now the last thing to do is to put on my gold plates. But something to mention about the gold plates is that when they were sent to me by Starlight Studios, they actually included their own gold screws. And these are the screws that I would use. I'm not sure if the ones that were already on the morpher even fit in these plates. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use these gold ones. So we're just gonna place the plate. So I'm just gonna take the plate and place it over the top where it goes. And then I can add those uh, gold screws right in here. Let's take the handle down, make this a little easier to see. All right, it's almost done. I just gotta add the bottom plate. This goes on here like so. Let's just flip this over and get those last screws in there. So to finish this bottom plate, I went ahead and started using this screwdriver because the other one was a little bit too big for me to tighten these correctly. Uh, so now, now it's better. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The 25th anniversary Master Morpher that is used in the episode by Jason David Frank himself using the Starlight Studios gold plates and green lens backing plate, whatever you want to call it, and the BD-15 decals. I hope that this video was helpful for anyone who's planning to build a Master Morpher. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You could also go ahead and follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. Although I don't use Snapchat and Twitter that much. That's it, everybody. May the power protect you. <laughs>